I am back from vacation and I've received a bunch of different questions about Gala V2. So I decided I'd make a full tutorial on exactly what happened, what you can or can't do right now if you don't have your V2 in your wallet. So let's get right into it. Now, first and foremost, this migration or the snapshot happened on May 15th. So it's been several weeks now and they've posted a bunch of different medium articles about this. But essentially before May 15th, you had to hold your gala either on an exchange in the list below or in the best case scenario in a non-custodial wallet. Now a non-custodial wallet is anything from Trust Wallet, MetaMask, your Ledger, whichever other hardware wallet you may use. Any wallet that is not associated to an exchange is essentially a non-custodial wallet. Now the supporting exchange list, they posted this as well. These were all of the exchanges that were going to support the V2 migration of Gala Games. Now recently in their recent article or medium, they posted this saying that 54 exchanges are supporting the Gala V2 and that everything should now be completed. So it says a total of 54 exchanges announced support of Gala V2 contracts contract update. Now, I'm not entirely sure if all of these 54 exchanges have gone around to doing this migration, but it's been about a month now, so I would assume that if it hasn't yet been done, that it is going to be done in the very near future. So with that out of the way now, what happens to your Gala V1? Your Gala V1 becomes completely irrelevant because they've essentially migrated this contract over to a V2 contract. Now, Etherscan is going to be your best friend for this next step. Etherscan is essentially the blockchain explorer of Ethereum-based assets. And because Gala is an Ethereum-based token, it's an ERC-20 token token, we're going to be using Etherscan in this case. So forget everything about your trust wallet, your MetaMask, whichever exchange you're holding it on. All you need right now is the wallet address that you held your Gala V1 in. That's all you're going to need. So as you go on to Etherscan, you're gonna be able to paste your own wallet address in this menu here. And if we take a look at this wallet address in question, I've pasted a random wallet address in here just to show you that it works with any wallet address. So as you can see, you're gonna to get to this page, which is going to show your balance, your assets. And if you go on to token holdings here, you're gonna be able to search in, let's say Gala, and you're gonna see two different assets. So you have Gala and you have Gala, and then you're like, what is going on here? What's the Gala V1, what's the Gala V2? Well, to find that out, it's super simple. Click on either or, and if you click on the first one here, you're gonna be able to see that this person actually purchased this Gala, which is of course V1 because it was purchased 443 days ago. That would mean that it's your Gala V1. Now, if you go back to this again and we type in Gala and you go to the other Gala, well, you can see that this has been minted to this wallet address 23 days ago, which is roughly around May 15th. This person got their Gala V2 because they held 485 Gala in this wallet address, which is either on the supported exchanges or a non-custodial wallet. And they have now this new Gala V2 in their wallet. Now, this is on Etherscan, which means that it is on your wallet, but something I've noticed is that a lot of people aren't able to see it on their MetaMask. Now, if you open up your MetaMask and it's similar to Trust Wallet, it's similar to any other non-custodial wallet, you are not going to see your Gala V2 in your wallet. What you're gonna to need to do is import the contract address onto your MetaMask, your Trust Wallet, or whichever wallet that is. So as you can see right now in my wallet, I have two Gala. One of them is not showing any balance, any money, and the other one is showing about $9. So as you may imagine, this Gala here is the V1 that was imported in my wallet. 
a long time ago when I did purchase Gala. And in order to actually get this V2 or this new Gala to show up in my wallet, what you have to do is you have to go to import tokens and then you're gonna go to custom tokens and you're gonna be able to paste the contract address of the new Gala V2. Now, in order to get that, you can get it on CoinGecko, you can get it on Etherscan, but if you go on to CoinGecko, you type in Gala, this is your new wallet address or your new contract address. It finishes in 87CAE. And then if you go back to MetaMask, you go back to import tokens, custom token, you paste that wallet address in, it should automatically populate, or in this case, it's going to tell me I've already added this. And to to show you guys that I can go ahead and actually remove this and re-import it. It's not going to remove my tokens. As you can see, I just hit the balance. I don't have it in my wallet anymore. So to make it show up on your wallet, again, custom token, add this token address, and it should auto-populate Gala with a token decimal add that in and then boom, you have your Gala V2 in your wallet that's accessible that you can see. So Etherscan is going to show you everything you have in your wallet. Then if you want to actually see it in your MetaMask, in Trust Wallet, in whichever other wallet, you're going to have to manually import the contract address. So I hope that's clear. And with your Gala V1, well, it's completely irrelevant now. So yes, it doesn't show me any balances. So I can go ahead, click on it and just hide this because because I am never going to be using this Gala V1 ever again. Now, I've seen other questions where people are asking me what happens if I wasn't holding the Gala V1 in a proper wallet, in a supported wallet before May 15th. And if we go on to their Discord here, someone's asking for help. They held Gala V1 on Trust Wallet and they're asking for their V2. How do they actually get it? We just went over that, but the important thing here is that if you weren't holding your Gala V1 on on any of the either exchanges that were supporting V2 or a non-custodial wallet, it does seem that your V1s are essentially worthless at this point because they do say the V2 tokens were distributed based off of the May 15th snapshot. It's not possible to swap V1 tokens to V2 tokens. So if you weren't holding your V1 in any of those non-custodial wallets or on any any of those exchanges that were support, supporting V2 contract migration, you may want to get in touch with the team because I don't think it's possible to migrate it yourself. You are going to have to go through the team. I'm not sure if they're able to help you out. But before doing that, definitely go over to Etherscan, paste your wallet address, see if you have Gala V2, if you may already have it in your wallet. And if so, you've already received that airdrop. So I hope that makes sense. I hope I've cleared the air here because a lot of people were asking me how to actually get the V2 migration or the V2 contract. It's as simple as that. Just import it into your wallet and you should be all good to go. Now, last but not least, in their recent Medium article, they do now have an API which essentially shows you the circulating supply of Gala. If you go on to that, you click that. We're around 24 billion tokens here in the circulating circulating supply, which is a lot more accurate on CoinGecko than CoinMarketCap. So if you're looking for some updated stats here, I would definitely recommend using CoinGecko as opposed to CoinMarketCap. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. If you have any questions, let me know down in the description below or the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.